this paint as well on this particular vehicle it's a one-off basically there's about three different paints uh, mixed together one being a pearlescent two and also it's got uh, my new flake within the paint and lacquer as you can see now the van now looks like a complete mirror and with this paint as well this is certainly going to stand out once it's on the road uh, as I said we had to do all the machine polishing again on this uh, because we removed the side mouldings here and all them filled in and both sides of the van was repainted overall uh, but the gloss level on this now is sky high the side skirts uh, that were going to be fitting to the caddy uh, they've all been painted up so well, let's uh, crack on we'll get the van in now and then we'll move on and I'll show you some bits and pieces how to fit these and if you're going to buy some of these then you've got a good idea what to do uh, once we take the sidebars off um, and we get access to underneath here we've got about just over an inch uh, drop under the van itself where the bars are that, that hold these on now when we put the side skirts on a bit later on these will be flush underneath with the uh, sills here as they are so what we'll do now we'll crack on we'll get these bars removed and then we can have a look and see what's going on a couple of these now we've got the bolts on well you can make it out here we've got the bracket and see how low it's hanging underneath the fan um, unscrew these and we can actually get these out without having to set the bolts off I think and if you can have a look now see all this that's holding these on is these T pieces here uh, they slide and slot underneath and the holes underneath the vehicle here uh, we've got some uh, rubber grommets we're going to put back in afterwards uh, but we're going to get rid of these now because as you can see how low these are hanging and these are fouling on speed bumps etc right. so we put sticker flex on here now along the seam just in a few pl uh, places and then we're just going to offer this up to here quite important as well system on the back of the, the van now so we can adjust these accordingly what we're doing dropping it back to hole number three on the back and then we're going to try this out this will give us about um, just nearly half an inch clearance on the back of the wheel arches what we've also done when we have the exhaust fitting we've got some adjustable clamps here so get these centralised now just giving in enough clearance here at the back we've got this cut out too on the back bumper as well Stop. right so that's done now I'm going to drop it down get the wheels back on and see how that looks then we can adjust the uh, coilovers at the front while we've got the uh, van on the lift Now we've got this board up, what we can do, we can have a look at this and use this as a template as well. So when we lay the floor in afterwards, we cut a piece off and we know exactly what we can do for cut out wise uh, for the fitments of the van. So we'll get 
get this cleaned up now and then we'll move on to the next stage. So what we're doing now, we're insulating the floor in the back of the caddy. Making sure it's all sticking down properly. And what we do, we finish this bit off here now. flooring now fitted and it's looking uh, really plush now in the back here uh, we've got the bulkhead that done that's all sorted uh, the spur wheel here at the moment we've got a couple more ideas um, a bit later on but probably making a, a bracket to go where the uh, other footwell is there uh, to put that in fitted securely in the back we have to take the uh, rear underneath the uh, spur wheel off as well uh, due to the exhaust system that we have fitted on this van. Uh, but, as I say, you never know what you're going to do next. When we bought the van as well, uh, it already had two subs in the back, uh, so, but still a nice bit of sound here. But we want to get a bit more bass sound in this vehicle. So that shall be another project that will be happening possibly for video 3. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. And the side skirts fitted as well now it gives us uh, more clearance underneath the van as well on the cabbies you can drop this quite a bit with the suspension I mean we've got leaf springs on the back we're on uh, hole number three at the minute on the drop down brackets we can lower it a bit more if we wish and also on the front we've got um, coilovers on the adjustable so it can drop the, the uh, front down but as I say at the moment it's just set at the right height as well because we have a front splitter on this van on the bumper and it is quite low to the floor uh, dependent on where you're going near the speed bumps etc so we don't want to be causing any damage so we'll have a look at that now as well this is a custom made front bumper too uh, for the caddy and what we thought we'd do as well we'd put the front splitter on too Give, uh, enhance the look of it as well to go with the grills at the, the front here, the black grills, the side vents, etc. And these two, uh, we're possibly looking at doing something with these in the near future. Uh, we're not sure yet, maybe fabrication uh, shop job. But once I get to that stage and we finally fa make sure what we're gonna, the ideas and that, what we're gonna have to do this then I shall be posting another video on our YouTube channel. Another thing we also did too on the van, uh, we removed the side mouldings as well, as you would have seen earlier on in the video. Um, had all the, the holes welded up, etc. Uh, and it was sent to my friend's body shop, where we repainted both sides of the van some time back last year. And then we got that sorted out. As I say, really flush finish now on this. And I think the aesthetics of it look better because with the trim that was on there in the first place, it sort of caught your eye and it was a bit of a distraction. Uh, so that's uh, now looking the pass as well. Also with the side skirts on too, and um, this gives us an opportunity uh, where we can lower the van uh, at the front and back a bit later on. I've also done, uh, treated all the dashboard here with uh, G Technic matte dash. So, uh, products that can go on the plastics here, it just leaves a nice matte finish, not going to glow up in your face. Once the sun hits the dashboard, it's not going to dazzle you neither. We've had a look around the van. What we'll do now is we'll pull it outside and have a look in the daylight, see how this looks.
Well, thanks once again for watching one of our videos on our YouTube channel. If you like, hit the subscribe button below. We're always working on something unusual here, top car detailing, and some of the cars we get to work on as well. Quite phenomenal, and it's all about having a passion for what we do here. Uh, right, so if you'd like, uh, check out the website as well at www.topcardetailing.co.uk where I can give you the right advice moving forward for your car. We've got uh, quite a lot of pages on there from paint correction, uh, glass and ceramic coatings, and as always, it's about long term protection for your vehicle. Anyway, I'm going to have to go now, and I'll be back soon with more nice cars. Catch you later!